For me as a mom going through this, I felt death around me. I felt death with Maddie. I felt because I couldn't fix it. What was happening is she was having heart failure, right? So her lungs couldn't do what they needed to do. And then we were told she has restrictive cardiomyopathy. She needs a heart transplant and that's her only fix. Five o'clock, I just remember the nurse shaking me and she's like, you have a phone call, you have a phone call. And then she handed me the hospital phone. And I'm like, hello? And she goes, Detroit's Beth, we accepted a heart for Maddie. <laughs> That is the only thing that we do, is take care of children and children's heart defects. We really wanted to make sure that our patients um, could be cared for at Children's Minnesota for the duration of their illness or until they aged out. So if patients and families come here for heart failure, heart transplant services, they can expect access to a very experienced heart failure and heart transplant team and that they would have access to the latest um, advances in heart failure and heart transplant. They're at the, their worst point in life and fixing something and having them be able to get back to their normal routine and forget it ever happened is the best part of my, my job. We can go up north, we can be outside, we can jump in the boat, we can go fishing, we can go to the cabin. Not having that fear is what, is what makes me the most excited. She's growing like crazy. It's endless for her, really. Maddie uh, is a a really delightful child who uh, can kind of see. She's uh, going to be a very fun person to watch grow up. Mm -hmm.